On top of planning it, Kashiwagi's gonna be in it? So that's why she agreed to plan this event. One, two... Wow, there's a lot of sign-ups here. I'm surprised so many people took an interest. Whoa, Risa Kujikawa? Seriously? Oh man, trust a celebrity to kill the fun of it all. I bet she'll draw a huge crowd. Wow, Yukiko-san's finally entering. If this was any other year, she'd win for sure. Now she's up against Rosette. It's gonna be a culture festival to remember. Huh? Rosette's entering? She's gonna take part in something like this? Maybe I better think more seriously about saving a seat. Look, Chie's entering too. She's actually pretty close to my type. Actually, I hear she has a lot of secret admirers. Naoto's that boyish, girlish, whatever, right? Yeah. Dude, you sound like a pervo when you laugh like that. But to be honest, I think she's cute too. Yo, are you free for lunch? I don't know why, but Chie asked us to come to the roof. She looked pretty serious. I wonder if something's happened. Oh, and Kanji's coming too. Just say no, right? Like it was just a joke. We wouldn't be so pissed if we could do that! With Kashiwagi planning this year's event, even those who got entered by other people can't back out! Seriously? Must have been something in the fine print I overlooked. So it was you! Oh, crap! Hey, do you want us to take part in the beauty pageant? Well, yeah. I mean, you guys know how popular Yukiko is here. And on top of that, we have an idol and a detective prince. What's the point of having a beauty pageant if all these incredible heroines aren't going to take part? So where do I fit in? Oh. Well, excuse me for not fitting in! Hey, you want them to be in it too, don't you, Kanji? Huh? I ain't interested in that stuff. Naoto-kun, Kanji-kun says that he really wants you to be in it. What? I, I, I didn't say nothing. What about you? You want them to be in it, right? Ah, uh, I thought you might be a little jealous, not wanting me to show off to other guys. But I guess you're not that uptight. Hey, you guys are inching onto the bandwagon with Yosuke, aren't you? So long as there are people looking forward to seeing me, I might as well put on a show for them. Of course, there's no need to involve my agency in this. That's right! That's the way to go! Teddy's looking forward to it, too. Actually, I think he was more excited than anyone. It was him who was pushing me to sign you all up. <gasps> so Ted's behind this, too! <sighs> We're in an awkward position. If we can't refuse, I suppose there's no sense in arguing the point. But it seems ill-fitting for someone like me to get up on stage. I wonder if there's any way I could take it up with the school authorities. Uh, I don't think it's a problem at all. I, I mean, just do it, you know? Seriously. Dude, looks like your blood's boiling even more than usual. <laughs> Silly Kanji, just tell her you want to see her on the stage. So, is it a deal? The four of us will be in the beauty pageant? What are you saying? Um, I beg you, please be in it. If you do, my, uh, doubts will finally be cleared. Come on! Make me a man! Doubts? What are you talking about? 
Look, just, just do it, damn it! I mean, you're an ace detective, aren't you? What does that have to do with a beauty pageant? Where'd you guys go? Over to Jeunesse. We had to go get some paint and cloth. Oh, for the decorations. Thank you. Did you have them write you an invoice? Yeah, I think they understood what it was for, so they wrote it without us having to ask. There's some things I want to go over about the day of the event. Is this about the group date cafe? Yes, since Yosuke's leading the executive committee. Wait, what? It was your proposal, right? Are you serious? Well, all you have to do is the reception. After people sign in, have a few guys and girls sit facing each other at a table, conduct a short session first where they ask each other questions. After about half an hour of that, it'll be confession time. Get them to select the number of the person they like. If the other person accepts, that makes them a couple. Hey, Yosuke, you listening? <sighs> yeah, I hear you. <laughs> Stop it. Hey, if we roll up this bit of cloth, won't it kind of be like a ball? Yeah, okay, I'll be the catcher. Why the catcher? Hey, Yosuke, want to be the batter? <sighs> uh, I don't give a damn anymore. I'm in. Watch me slam that ball right back into your face. Hey, you guys better get serious about this. Welcome back. Hey, it's Yosuke. We're expecting great things from you. They're doing the cross-dressing pageant again this year? Man, they never learn, do they? Ooh, some people have signed up already. <laughs> Man, what idiots would want to be in this thing? Let's see, Yosuke Hanamura... ME?! Wait, and Kanji Tatsumi? You're on here too! There's a lot of contestants. Didn't we only get, like, two people last year? I heard this year, even if someone else signs you up, you can't back out. Well, that's not cool. Hey, but what if they did sign themselves up? Ew, what a disturbing thought! Seriously, that's really wrong. Someone else signs you up? It's them. They must have done this. You better have a damn good explanation for this. For what? For what, my ass? For signing us all up in the cross-dressing pageant. It was you, wasn't it? Oh, that thing! Rise-chan started saying, let's all have fun with this, so I didn't really have a choice. And Kashiwagi seems happy too now that there's more people involved in it. You little... This is cross-dressing! Cross-dressing! Well, you're the one who started it! It's because of you that we can't back out of the beauty pageant, so it serves you right! That's beside the point. Don't worry. We'll make you absolutely enchanting, okay? That's not what's important here. It's about a man's pride, damn it!
Whoa. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah, this has nothing to do with pride or any of that. You know already, right? Once someone signs you up, you can't back out. If you got a problem with that, go talk to Ms. Kashiwagi. <laughs> There's no way she's gonna listen. Wh why are you giving up? I ain't doing this, period. Kanji-kun, are you still okay as far as the mandatory attendance policy? I don't think it would be wise to disappoint a teacher too much. You are a scary gal. You know that, senpai? Just leave it to us to dress you guys up. Risa-chan's with us, too. There's no way you won't turn out pretty. You're positive we'll be pretty? I guarantee it. Hey, why are you suddenly fine with this? Well, if we gotta do this, might as well go all the way with it. There's nothing manly about being a woman. I seriously refuse. Kashiwagi's sure gonna get angry if you don't show up. Maybe you and Kanji-kun can be classmates next year. Why is this happening? We all end up in the same boat without our consent. What kind of joke is this? Uh, the exact same joke you pulled on us? If we gotta do this, might as well go all the way with it. <laughs> oh, welcome home, big bro. This is so embarrassing. There's not that many people passing by here in the first place. I think we need some shills to drum up interest. Shills? Uh, who? Who else is here besides us? Isn't that kind of sad? Do we have a choice? We need customers to get the ball rolling. If there aren't many people passing by, we have to get the attention of the ones who are by any means necessary. But there's only five of us here. Yo, how's it going? I came to check up on you... guys. Perfect timing! But now we've got four guys and two girls. Eh, you guys are cross-dressing tomorrow anyways. One of you can sit on the girls' side. What? I'm not gonna... There you go, Yosuke. You'll be our girl. Are you serious? Well, let's get started. Uh, uh you guys can start now. Uh, uh, will someone please start? <sighs> Actually, what the hell is this? A mock group date. I mean, we're on a group date. <laughs> you don't have to talk like a girl. So, what are your hobbies? Man, you're enjoying this, aren't you? I like, um... Martial arts in general, uh, m mainly watching them. <laughs> Yikes, this is really embarrassing. Mm, my hubby is, um, defeating shadows? That's not a hobby! Oh, oh, yeah, sorry. Okay, then we'll ask you a question next. Um, um... What type of girls do you like? Whoa, getting right to the point. I guess... Uh, cute girls? Man, this is lame. Oh, now it dawns on you? Your turn. What type of girls do you like? Oh, 
me too. You get this urge to care for and protect them? Don't think they asked you, Yosuke-senpai. Your turn, Kanji-kun. Oh. Uh, well, I... Uh, well, I, I... I guess someone who's, uh... Kind of mysterious. And, uh... Looks strong, but actually kinda... Yeah, I really wonder who you're talking about. Well, you guys are all wonderful, but I think you'd be the most reliable. I mean, you idiot, don't make me play along! Date Cafe is officially a failure. back. Standing there. Come on, hurry up and sit down. Come on, Kanji Kun, over here. Don't worry, I won't hurt you. What about me? It turns out I'm entering this too. I must win this contest to see my dream realized. He seemed bored, so we signed him up as a last-minute contestant. So you're making him suffer too, huh? Well, if he's been signed up, there's nothing we can do about it. Now, Tokun, can you lend us a hand? We'll leave Teddy to you. Me? The Nauto Teddy team's unstoppable! Well then, um... First, I need some dazzling makeup. You're right. Then I'll go borrow a makeup kit from someone. Wait! The battle begins by choosing the right equipment! Ooh, we gotta use 
fake eyelashes, right? Y yeah bring it on. <laughs> so it begins. Ladies and gentlemen, we now begin the second day of the Culture Festival with the ever-popular Miss Yasugami Pageant. Let's get right down to it and introduce our first contestant. She's a runaway express train who's in a born and bred and can kill with both her fists and her looks. Presenting Kanji Chan of the first year class three. <laughs> This is wrong on every level. Now, don't rip me apart for asking, but what would you say is your best feature? My eyes. Oh, a conventional answer from this all too unconventional beauty. After such a strong start, I don't know how much of a chance the others have, but here's our second contestant. An eloquent heiress of the noble Juness, she's pure disappointment from the moment she opens her mouth. Presenting Yosuke-chan of the second year class two. <laughs> I thought Yosuke-senpai would be able to pull it off. Dude, it's terrifying. I can just imagine someone like him sitting across from me on a train. Now, you look ready to win in that outfit. Do you often dress like this? Hell no! Uh... <clears throat> like, no way! <laughs> Laughing stocks up here. What did you think this was about? I've already had about enough of this, but there's still more to come. Up next, our third contestant. She has the mildly bitter tang of the city, and she's made more girls cry than there are stars in the sky. Presenting our transfer student who's been breaking hearts in the second year, Class 2! <laughs> Senpai, why are you doing this? Whoa, I thought he was cooler than that. Sounds like your entrance is causing quite a stir. Did you sign yourself up? Wow, he was more gung-ho about this than Kanji. Damn that Kashiwagi. How dare she tear away our innocence like this! Now I'm scarred for life, damn it! Our last contestant is a random, unaffiliated entrant. She's a friend of our other beauties. Calling herself king of the TV world, she's a cute, sexy little number. Give a warm welcome to Teddy Chan! Give me your heart! Is it really? He's so cute! I'd hit it.
champion, Miss Teddy will receive a very special prize. Later this afternoon, we will be hosting the Miss Yasugami pageant with actual beauties this time. Your reward is a position as an honorary judge in that pageant. Woohoo! An honorary judge? That's one lame prize for what you gotta go through. Not everyone can get that excited over a judge position. Seeing him so happy kind of makes me happy, too. Yeah, he's like over the top innocent. Well then, Miss Teddy, how does it feel to have won the pageant and become a judge? <laughs> the long-awaited day has finally come! I decree that one of the judging criteria later this afternoon will be... Ta-da! A swimsuit competition! That bear needs to be disappeared. Well, I doubt he has the authority to declare that unilaterally. <laughs> this is great. I love the direction this is going. Dress yourselves up as well as you can, you little brats. What is she, the rival woman on a soap opera? Wait, is Kashiwagi serious about winning this? <laughs> Mr. Teddy dropped this off. He said that they're swimsuits. Hey, we don't need them! <laughs> My mature charms will win the day. I brought my own swimsuit, of course. I brought my own, too. What's with these people? Hey, let's, let's not do this. What's that? Getting cold feet? Wise of you to back out of a fight you can't win. You call yourself an idol, but you're just jailbait with no brains, no guts, and especially no figure. What? There's no way their type would be crowned Miss Inaba. Why not just let them back out? <laughs> oh, and I suppose you think you're gonna take the crown, you little snoring pig! <laughs> snoring? What are you talking about? Your face is as foul as your mouth, and your brain's as rotten to boot. We went through hell because of you! That's it! Now I'm pissed! Oh, you're going to challenge me? It's useless. Don't waste your energy. Let this be a warning to the others, too. Ugh. <laughs> you're going to lose. Now's your last chance to run away. Run away? Why the hell would we run from someone like you? Well, we did kind of run away last time. That's what I'm saying! We gotta stand our ground and get our revenge for that! How can we cower and hide when they're picking a fight? Yeah. Right, Risei-chan! Now, Jokun! We won't run from this, right? Huh? Me too? Why are you letting yourself be so easily provoked? There's no way! Absolutely no way that I'm wearing a swimsuit. You're not going anywhere. But that's not all for the Culture Festival's main event. There's still more to come in the Miss Yasugami pageant. The judging continues. Can you hear the crowd going wild? Now for our next 
next contestant, Miss G.A. Satanaka of the second year's class two. Come on out, G.A. Find yourself in the area, please give us a visit. Our hot springs are open to the public year round, so whenever you're in the mood to enjoy them, please drop by. <laughs> Next up, a very familiar face from the first year class two, Miss Rise Kujikawa. student of the first year's class one, Miss Noto Shiro Gane! Hey, Kanji, here she comes. Hey, shh, pipe down. Hi, I'm Naoto Shiragane. It's hard to believe I'm up on a stage at a pageant like this. This is beyond my wildest imaginings. I, I really don't know what to say. C can I step back now? And with that, all six uniquely beautiful contestants are on stage! Now, let's have our special judge, Mr. Teddy, ask them some questions. Ahem. I am Teddy, the honorary judge for this pageant. Please keep in mind that if you anger me, you will be at a disadvantage. Well, uh, Miss Chie, do you have a boyfriend? Ms. Yukiko, have you ever smooched anyone before? Huh? Stop it! Ms. Naoto, where are you ticklish? I beg your pardon? Can I stay at your house next time, Risei-chan? What kind of a question is that? Anyways, I have a surprise announcement for you all. Wait till you hear this. For the first time ever, this year's pageant will feature a swimsuit competition. And it's all thanks to Mr. Teddy here. put on their swimsuits and be back in just a few moments. <laughs> Ooh. You sound like a dirty old man. Chie Senpai is cute though. What? 
This is great! Wow. Yukiko-senpai. She is exactly how I imagined she'd be. for this portion. Fine by me. The fewer rivals I have to crush, the better. Oh, well, I had a feeling that would happen. Too bad, Kanji. Huh? Uh, no, um... Well, yeah. Don't you think it was brave of her to at least show up in the first round? Yeah, you're right. Well, it's about time we voted. Who are you going for? Is that allowed? Thanks for waiting, everyone! The results are in! <laughs> Looking at the way the vote went... You guys out in the audience had a hard time picking a favorite! Lots of different opinions, with every one of our contestants having their own enthusiastic supporters! On the other hand, it looks like you girls were all thinking the same thing. And so, there's a clear winner! Grand prize goes to... Miss Noto Shira! and Miss Naoto with her award now, but it looks like she stepped outside. She won, even though she dropped out of the last part. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Man, losing to Naoto. Well, I guess I didn't appeal to the girls that much. Oh well, I think it's enough that we beat those two hands down, senpai. <laughs> How could I lose a beauty pageant? <laughs> Miss Kajiwaki, <laughs> I can't believe this. <laughs> no, neither can I. Oh, oh no, go. <laughs> Miss Kajiwaki. <laughs> Good thing we found you. I've got to make a business trip to the prefectural office, and I won't be back until tomorrow. Shame it had to fall during your school's culture festival. Nanako and I were both looking forward to it. Sorry to dump this on you, but could you show Nanako around? Would you like to walk around with us, Nanako-chan? <sighs> Can I? Thanks. Then I'm gonna get going. Yeah, you have fun too, Nanako. Okay, Dad. Hey, Nanako-chan, why don't you come over and stay at my place tonight? Huh? 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 What did you just say, Yuki-chan? Ooh, a celebration at your inn? Is that okay with you? Uh-huh. I promised you guys a while ago, so yeah. Hell yeah! I'm down! Can I boil eggs in the hot springs? Oh, I should call my grandpa and let him know. It's just one night, right? C 
Come on, it'll be fun. Everyone will be there. Can I? Spend the night. <laughs> Hot springs, Yukata, flushed skins. Are you sure it's okay? I mean, isn't it still the busy season? We've had fewer visitors this year. There are some open rooms, too. Oh, okay. Might as well then. Man, when was the last time I stayed at Yukiko's place? <laughs> 